you may have wondered about the Mormon practice called baptism for the dead, something that may be new to some of you. So what is baptism for the dead? Where is it done? And why is it important to Mormons? First, let's talk a little bit about baptism for the living. 2,000 years ago, Jesus went to the Jordan River, where he was baptized by immersion, lowered fully under the water by John the Baptist. By doing this, Jesus showed us two things. One, that everyone needs to be baptized, even he, being perfect. And two, a baptism must be performed by someone with authority from God. The Bible refers to this as priesthood. Why did Jesus go to John to be baptized? Because John had this priesthood. Jesus set the example for all of us. But here's the problem. What about those millions of people who died without baptism? Or were baptized, but without proper authority? How is that problem solved? God has a way to provide an opportunity for all His children to accept the gospel. This is where Mormon temples and the practice of baptism for the dead come in. Mormons don't baptize dead people. They use proxies living stand-ins, to represent those who have passed away without proper baptism. Let's explain proxy a bit. Your math teacher couldn't make it to class because she was out sick, so she arranged for a substitute, a proxy, to fill in for her. And you'll remember from the Bible that Jesus suffered for our sins. He also acted as a proxy. In the same way, male and female Mormons, in good standing, age 12 and up, act as proxies. They stand in for their deceased relatives and are baptized in their behalf. A baptism for the living can take place in a river, a pond, or really any place large enough for a person to become completely immersed, even in the font found in many Mormon chapels. But a baptism for the dead can only take place in Mormon temples, which they consider sacred. Like baptisms for the living, these proxy baptisms are also by immersion and with priesthood authority, and each one is witnessed and recorded. And that's why Mormons are so interested in finding their ancestors, so they can do a proxy baptism for them. You may be asking yourself, isn't it a little presumptuous for Mormons to perform a baptism for the dead who may not even want it? Well, the Bible teaches us that individuals have the right to choose. Mormons believe that right continues after death and that spirits of the dead can be taught the gospel of Jesus Christ. They can then choose to accept or reject it and the corresponding proxy baptism. And to be clear, deceased individuals for whom a baptism for the dead is performed are not counted on the membership rolls of the Mormon Church. Baptism for the living and for the dead is another important way God shows His love for His children. So when you hear the term baptism for the dead, remember, it refers to Mormons using proxies, living stand-ins, to provide baptism by immersion with proper authority for those who have died without that opportunity. Now you know.